Welcome to a cold and chilly dub in Belfast as Cliftonville look to make up ground on Linfield and Balna Mallard at the top of the NIBFA's under 16 National League standings. Today, the Reds face St Oliver Plunkett. Action coming up first though is the best of the highlights from the past couple of weeks. Liftonville donning their traditional red colours were out to set down an early marker against St Oliver Plunkett. Connor Farrelly headed over from a quality Owen O'Hare cross just two minutes in. Down at the other end, frontman Mark McKenna tried his luck with a shot that was just wide of the target. McKenna then played a pivotal role in the game's opening goal. Good hold up play and an even better cross provided Jay McGlinchey with the easiest of finishes. 1 0 to Plunkett. St Oliver Plunkett were comfortable with that single goal advantage. That was until the start of the second half when Keevan McGuinness saw Red having lifted his hands to Mark Davy, who was also carded in the process. But in spite of being down to 10 men, Jared Meehan extended Plunkett's lead with this well-struck free kick. But to their credit, the Reds responded with a 55th minute goal to reduce the arrears. Cathal McGinty's cross come shot winding up in the far corner of the Plunkett net. There was still time for an equaliser, 60 seconds to play in fact, when new boy Kyle Tone outpaced his marker. to Oliver Plunkett 2, Cliftonville 2. Ah, uh, well, I, I thought it was a good battle and performance. So I think what maybe changed the game a bit as well was when uh, Plunkett went down to 10 men. All in all, I thought both teams deserved uh, a point out of the game. It was a well hard fought game, a good sort of way derby match for, for both teams. You went behind in the first half then. Uh, did that surprise you? I really did. I thought uh, when we did go behind, it was a, a bit of a, Their two goals were two, two soft goals. But uh, it's something we'll work on then on the, on the training ground. Very disappointed with the result. Um, I thought we played a lot of football. Standing off didn't help. I brought us down to 10 men early in the second half. Um, and, you know, again, I still thought we had more chances than Cliftonville. Um, it's just unfortunate towards the end, the referee missed um, a silly foul that led to the final goal. But, you know, two each, there were 10 men in most of the second half. After going through another, you know, our our policy in the club is all about rotation. No matter what, you could have held on for two 0 but, but you know, it's important that all kids get football. We bring them out in the training all week, so we've done that, and made a few changes. But you know, not enough. It's disappointing to go two 0 up, and uh, they, they can see the late goal, you know. But again, it's part of football. <laughs> <laughs> 